everybody. Anybody come near me? I don't know if the sun is walking or not. So it's working, all right. I just wait for the uh, 5 p.m. so that everybody can be here. I'm just gonna uh, grab a drink. See ya. I'm gonna try to uh, turn up the mic. I, I got a shitty uh, webcam, so that's why uh, the sound is not really good. I'll see what I, what I can do. Is that better? Okay, I'm gonna um, I'm gonna start the the stream. So thank you everybody for uh, playing the game. Uh, I'm really surprised to see uh, how much people is playing is waiting for this game. Uh, for me, it's just a uh, it started just as a silly project, uh, just to learn how to make games, and uh, I didn't expect it to uh, to get the game that far. Uh, honestly. But uh, yeah, it feels good. Feels good, yeah. So for this stream, I was, I was maybe um, wanted to share a bit uh, some tips and tricks and um, what I wanted to do for the uh, the combat mechanics. Um, the game is really early. It's I, I'm guessing that a lot of you have played the game already and. You probably have uh, found that the game is really uh, uh, in an early alpha version. So um, that that's mean uh, there's a lot of bugs. Uh, there's not not everything has been uh, implemented yet. Uh, so I can get it that um, some of you people maybe after a couple of hours you will find the game really repetitive and boring and all. That's mainly because um, it still needs a lot of features to be implemented in, so that it can be a, um, really fun to play for a long while. So, yeah, I see that uh, there is a lot of people asking me where I come from, but yeah, I'm French. I'm French, but I'm living in Canada now. So, yeah. So let's start, let's play this. Let me mute the, uh, the audio now. Alright, so 
this is the uh, early uh, mechanics, uh, combat mechanics. I implemented the early mechanics in the game. Um, the ideas I got is um, I wanted to try something different from uh, Fengli. Um, I really like the game, uh, the Fengli game, the uh, Attack on Titan Trebate game, but I wanted to try to do something else because if not, what's the point? If it's just the, the, the same gameplay with different graphics, uh, I think that I would have missed something. So. Uh, this game is um, so so for the combat is a little bit different. It's uh, I, I think that's in the uh, tribute game. Um, the main focus is the, on the um, controlling the trajectory and trying to um, to use the uh, strong inertia in the uh, 3DMG uh, gear to uh, reach the map of the uh, Titan. And I I wanted to try something else. I'm really fond of. Uh, action game like um, especially the one from uh, Platinum game so uh, I played a lot of, of this Japanese game uh, with the um, a lot of uh, action and time reaction uh, features and um, um, I know that it's not the uh, what a lot of people would want to uh, to hear me to say but that's the kind of uh, feeling I would want to put in that in that game so that's where the idea comes from the um, the dodge mechanic and the um, the uh, counter counter attack mecha mechanic. So right now, um, like I said, it's a bit boring because we just have one option to kill the Titan. N not just one option, but at least two options. Uh, I would say for now. So it's really repetitive for now, and I'm hoping that to add. Um, a lot more um, um, different options uh, in the game and also counter option for the titan so that's um, I'm gonna mix it mix it up a little bit more uh, and making it more interesting uh, but right now the idea here is for when you start engaging a titan he's gonna be really fast he's gonna be able to uh, turn around you uh, really fast and it's gonna be really difficult for you to uh, reach the map and reach the back of the, the head of the titan and the idea I got was um, how to make it uh, so that it's uh, interesting to um, the, the, the combat against one titan is uh, is interesting and uh, not just Killing it in just one uh, one attack. Uh, that's one uh, one of my issue at the f at first is at first it was just uh, reaching the titan, go back to the go to the back of the uh, of the head, kill it, and so you could kill a titan in just um, two or three seconds. So there wasn't much of challenge. Uh, there wasn't much of um, option for you. So. The idea I got now is that uh, um, at first killing a titan is hard, but if you disab disable the uh, the arms, um, the titan is gonna be a lot more slower. So now you see that the work speed is much slower. It's a bit slower. The um, the reaction time is uh, slower too. And if I disable both of his arms, like this. Now is extremely slow, and it's become really easy for me to. Oops. To reason up. So it's been a little bit difficult for me because. Oh shit. Oof. It's been really difficult for me because um, the um, second arm, second arm regen. Uh, Jesus. Alright, this is my game. I lost at my game. That's awesome. But yeah, this is the idea. You disable the arm, and the more limbs you're gonna disable. So for now, you can only disable the, uh, the arm. But the, the more arm, limbs, and uh, you're gonna disable, the more sluggish the titan gonna be. So the, this is the idea I got from. Uh, um, the combat with uh, Mikasa from uh, against uh, Annie, uh, where she um, 
she attacked the eyes, she cut both of the eyes, but Annie was able to um, re regenerate uh, quicker just by um, focusing on one eye instead of both. And so I'm guessing that um, Titan can, um, using a bit of, uh, I don't know, internal force to, uh, to regen uh, themselves. Uh, so that's that's the idea. I, I got the idea from uh, from this uh, this passage. So now the I so if I cut both the arm, Jesus. Okay, I feel bad now. Ooh, I'm bad at this game. Probably the stress. Now it becomes easy to reach the nut. So that's one way to kill a titan. It's by disabling the uh, the arms. Yeah, I know. Losing at my own game. Yeah, I don't feel really proud about that. Yeesh. Maybe I shouldn't have activated the the stream. Eh? So by cutting both of the arms. Um, you're gonna be able to really slow down the movement of the titan so it's gonna be easy to uh, to get the nap and um, so i'm hoping that it's make the uh, the combat a little bit more interesting than just uh, instant kill titan just by uh, going for the nap and uh, instant kill them so that's one way to kill the titan for now Here go. And then the other way to kill the Titan for now is using the Dutch cancel. And the, um, the Dutch cancel is um, the ability to um, to overtake the Titan by speed and um, being able to react even quicker than the Titan to uh, to reach the nap. And uh, so with the Dutch cancel. You, you could theoretically even be able to um, kill a titan without even using, without even uh, disabling the arm before. So it's more like a um, power use, pro power user um, mechanics, and it can be useful to uh, if you're looking to um, for a high score because you're gonna be able to uh, kill Titan really quickly with this feature. And to perform that, you need to stay hooked to a Titan and you're gonna see that uh, Eren is blinking after a dodge. So if I'm rushing to the Titan and you see that Eren has blink in blue and it's only blinking in blue if Eren is uh, staying hooked to the Titan. If I dodge without being um, hooked to the titan you won't see uh, Eren blinking after a successful dodge even if he's um, even if the dodge is successful you won't see Eren blinking in blue so when Eren is blinking in blue if you press by default is control the control key uh, it's the uh, 3dmg action key you're gonna be able to um, activate the dodge cancel and you're gonna hear a little sound, a uh, shling sound like this which means that you, you activated the, uh, the dodge cancel and that means you're gonna be able to reel um, instantly after this, uh, this dodge, can dodge cancel so doing that I'm gonna be able to see I was close, not close enough shit But it's gonna, it's gonna, you're gonna be able to um, to overtake the Titan if you're good enough. Not like me, but if you're good enough, you're gonna even uh, be able to kill a Titan without disabling his armor, like this. So you can use both of these techniques. For example, you can just disable one arm and um, then use a dodge cancel on the other arm. Uh, to 
quickly uh, kill a titan. Like this. And the good thing about the dodge cancel is that uh, if you look at the, um, the score, you're gonna see that it's giving you um, a bonus. Uh, 1.5, a multiplier of 1.5 for the bonus. So if you're aiming for the high score, I suggest you to use the, um, the, the dodge console as much as you can because you're gonna be able to kill Titan more quickly so it, you're gonna have a better, um, um, a better time score and um, you're gonna be able to, um, to apply a multiplier on your, on your kill, on your kill score. So you're gonna be able to reach higher, um, yeah, higher score on your kill. So that's basically for now, just only for now, it's basically both of the, um, the, the techniques um, you can use against the Titan. So like I said, it's, uh, it's a bit, it's a bit um, boring for now. It's it's really repetitive. That's what I mean. S but I'm hoping to um, to bring more feature. Um, I'm still not sure what's gonna be the the feature I'm gonna add for, uh, in the future. And uh, but that's the idea. That right now, what I wanted to show you guys is uh, in, with this alpha is the uh, what's the direction that the um, the, the combats will take uh, in the future. So that means um, uh, for now, uh, I'm hoping that you can see that uh, I'm looking for more of um, dodge, um, air dodge style, close combat uh, style, more than um, uh, killing Titan from long distance. So that's that's the kind of gameplay uh, I, I want to push. Uh, I want to push in that direction. So it's more about uh, timing, reaction, and judgment. Um, for now, the judgment is not here. It's gonna come when I'm, I will be able to add more uh, counter option for the Titan. Um, keep in mind too that the uh, this is just a simple Titan. So that's the most. It should be the most easy to kill. Uh, but after that, we're gonna have. Um, there are gonna be different titan like the uh, the aberrant titan, the uh, and and more um, difficult titan to kill. So yeah, for now it's just the uh, like I said, these guys are the simple one. So they got the the simplest uh, AI. And uh, I'm hoping that when everything would be in the game, it's gonna be a little bit more, um, uh, a little bit less repetitive than it is right now. So the the other thing I wanted to talk about is um, the, uh, the the bar that you can see in the uh, lower corner on the uh, on the left, uh, which is got the, uh, the the free. Right now, I'm, I'm using the name 3DMG Condition. I'm not sure if I'm gonna keep this name. Um, I'm probably gonna find a better name for this to explain what it is, but... Uh, uh, I played a lot uh, the uh, Fangly uh, Attack and Titan Tripod game. And I played also a bit the um, AOT uh, Wings of Freedom game. And um, what I didn't like personally, what I didn't like in this this game was the um, the gas mechanic, the the, the way that uh, you have to replenish uh, region um, in the map, find some place to um, uh, refill your gas. It's I find I found that uh, especially in the Wings of Freedom game, I found that um, a bit um, frustrating and annoying. That when you are in the middle of the action, and then you look at your bar and you oh shit! I need now. Now I need to uh, to leave the action, um, spend a couple of minutes flying around the town to find uh, gas, and then flying again a couple of minutes to go back to the action. It's really it was something that really frustrated me. So um, I tried to think of something else um, to limit the action of the uh, the player. But not the uh, not the um, 
the action feeling. You know, I, I didn't want the player to to be frustrated to leave um, um, a combat he has engaged against a titan just because he, he don't have gas anymore. So uh, I'm. I chose to go with the um, 3DMG condition, but it means it's the, uh, the the condition of your gear, and the more you're using your gear, the um, the more you, you're gonna put stress on it, uh, and if you put too much stress in it, you you won't be able to use it for a certain, a certain t uh, amount of time. So uh, that's the idea, yeah. So that's why um, if you don't move or if you're moving uh, or if you're flying fast, uh, the bow is gonna regenerate, uh, re gonna refill. And if you're using dodges and special attacks on dodge cancel, it's gonna uh, you, you're gonna see the bow uh, decrease. And so so yeah. So if you want to fill this bar. The good, the good way would be to um, to fly fast. Uh, I found that it's it's a good way to keep the the player um, running, f um, moving fast. Um, so bringing a bit of action in the game is that. So the the, the bar is here to um, to tell the player, okay, if you go fast, if you keep going fast. Um, you you're gonna have your um, you're gonna have more um, I don't know how to say that in English but uh, you the, the bar is gonna be uh, full quicker so you're gonna be able to use more uh, action and a more um, special attack um, uh, more often so that's a good way to uh, not force the player but um, yeah, incitate uh, the player to um, to go fast when he is moving around, not not just staying in the air and um, doing dodges like this and waiting and doing dodges and you see that's not I can't dodge anymore. I'm really uh, vulnerable for attacks if I if I'm do just dodging and now I'm dead. So the idea is more like if you flying fast and if you flying uh, around the Titan. Um, uh, with high speed, uh, you're gonna be able to do more things. So that's one way to keep your your bar always full. Not always full, but at least uh, not an empty. Eesh. I wasn't lucky. Here you go. And the other way, other way to uh, refill the uh, this bar is by if you are static on the ground and you press repeatedly the control uh, control key, um, you you're gonna be able to uh, refill your bar too. So if I'm using my if I'm depleting the bar like this or my condition bar is almost depleted, if I'm pressing control several times you see that the bar um, increase um, quickly and right now it's a little bit weird but the idea is that um, it's missing the animation for that so that's why it's a little bit weird and uh, it doesn't make any sense why why it's working like this but the idea I got there behind this is that when I'm gonna do the animation, you, you, you're just gonna see uh, Aaron tweaking his, um, his gears, trying to uh, moving knobs and maybe bashing on the uh, the gear so that it's um, he can walk again quicker. But so uh, the the idea behind this mechanic is that um, again I don't want um, to to have player too much frustrated by the. Um, I want to keep the player inside the action. Uh, I I want to limit the action so that it's not um, OP. But um, I find that's boring if the if the player has to wait too long for that this bar gonna um, catch up and refill uh, again. So that's an idea that I got. That's um, okay. So pressing the control key is it's gonna. Um, accelerate the uh, regeneration of the bar 
but at the same time to do that you need to be uh, static you need to be on the ground so you're vulnerable so you 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 can't do that anytime uh, it's a good the good way would be to do that after you kill a titan because you're safe and because it's gonna um, it's gonna be a uh, it's gonna be a um, dangerous to do that in front of a titan right now it's not because the um, the stomp attack is not working you see that um, doesn't make me any uh, yeah look at that but yeah the uh, the stomp attack is not working for uh, for now for the alpha but when it will be uh, it, it would feel like the uh, um, regenerating the uh, the action bar is more dangerous this way. It's, it's a little bit more dangerous. So for this alpha, I think that's all I, I wanted to uh, to show. So if you want to make a um, good score in the game, to summarize, it's. Uh, uh, don't forget that um, making spinning attack and disabling arms will make the uh, the titan more um, more slow. So it's gonna be easier to uh, and it's it, it gonna be uh, then easier to kill. So I know that uh, there is no tutorial for now, uh, which is an issue, and um, it should have been one, but I had a bug. Um, just before releasing the the game, so uh, I didn't want it to delay again the uh, the alpha. So uh, I published the uh, the alpha without the training, uh, but because at first there was the the, the, the training that um, that was already in the previous um, in the pre previous updates, uh, but uh, I had some I ran into some issues, that, so that's now it's not working properly. So I need to redo that, and. I'm gonna add. Um, I'm gonna add more um, more um, tutorial too to explain all the things that I explain uh, right now. So that means the uh, uh, special attack, the um, cutting the limbs of a titan would make it would make them uh, more sluggish. The dodge cancel thing uh, and the uh, fully MG uh, condition bar. So that, that's something that um, I will probably prioritize for the next updates so that uh, that's something on it's a top priority for me for now so that's probably gonna be the next uh, the next update so yeah you are so yeah that's I think that was everything that I wanted to share for this uh, alpha so I'm um, I'm hoping that um, I'm trying to think of something that uh, if I didn't forget something that I wanted to talk about, about the alpha. Oh yeah, for the for the scoring, um, you you can see that uh, you got a, a kill streak, which isn't really a kill streak, but um, the thing is, the more Titan you're gonna kill, the the biggest bonus you're gonna have for each kill. But in fact. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna start the uh, Q and A uh, just after that. But um, I, I just wanted to finish on that. The, um, the for the kill streak, the more titan the kill. Right now, I got five on my kill streak. So um, if I kill another titan, I'm gonna have um, a kill streak, uh, a multiplier of six, and my kill streak is now at six. And if I get grabbed by a titan. I'm gonna lose. Um, I think that I took that to. Uh, I'm gonna lose two um, two points on my kill streak. So now I'm got. I'm uh, at four for my kill streak. So if you are aiming for the high score, try not to get. Uh, try not to get uh, caught because you're gonna lose a lot of uh, bonus multiplier. So now you see that uh, I was performing uh, kills around uh, 5,000. Oh shit. And now I'm dead. But yeah, so that's why the, the first one, first kill I always um, 
uh, around a thousand. It, it's, it's always um, little. Yeah, one thousand. So yeah. So uh, that's what I wanted to talk about for the uh, for this alpha. Um, to summarize, it's the beginning of the alpha, so you're gonna find a lot of bugs. Uh, you're gonna find the gameplay um, really repetitive for now. Uh, there is a lot of features that is not here uh, yet, and um, but uh, I hope you understand that. And for the gameplay, uh, for the combat, remember so um, cut the limbs and the titan is gonna be slower and if you are aiming for the high score score go for the uh, dodge cancel and try to uh, to keep your kill streak at the maximum so yeah now now i'm gonna um, i'm sorry i'm talking uh, a lot uh, didn't uh, watch the uh, the chat uh, that much for now but now i'm ready to uh, uh, now I can uh, I can answer uh, some uh, question if you have some. And again, sorry about my bad uh, English. Uh, I know it's a bit difficult for me uh, to speak in English, especially in uh, live stream. Uh, I know that it's a bit uh, annoying to hear someone always trying to find his words. But yeah, oui, je suis français, oui. Je suis français mais j'habite au Canada maintenant. So when will the multiplayer come out? Uh, that's a good question. Honestly, I don't know. That's really mo way more difficult than I thought it would be. Uh, the thing is, Unreal Engine is good to make multiplayer games, but it's good if you're making games for platform like Steam or uh, the, the PlayStation Network or uh, do, do those kind of games. The fact is, I can't use this platform because I'm doing a fun game and I don't own the um, I don't own the the, uh, the license. So uh, if I put the game on Steam, for example, I, I would be uh, I, I would be infringing the uh, the copyright. So I can. So that means uh, I can't use the um, the feature from the Unreal Engine. That's already the pre-made feature. So I need to do that everything by myself, and it's a lot tougher than I thought it would be. Especially for a guy like me, which that means um, at the at the beginning I'm, I'm an artist. I'm not a, a programmer, so I'm starting from the beginning there. So yeah, it's the multiplayer is tough for me, but. Um, I will have to work on that. That's probably something I will go back on the multiplayer. Um, I, I will go back on the multiplayer soon because I, I think that if I want to keep working on the gameplay, I need to take in account the uh, the fact that you're gonna play with several people, so the the Titan needs to uh, to react um, uh, correctly with different people around him. So. I know that I, I can't keep working on this game, uh, saying that it's going to be multiplayer and um, keeping uh, working on the gameplay that is solo like it is right now. So I'm probably going to be back on the multiplayer uh, soon, but I don't know when I'm going to be able to, uh, to make it work, sorry. So are you planning for assistance in the development of the game? Um, Yes and no. Uh, I know that it can sounds a bit um, uh, selfish, but uh, I really like to. Uh, I really enjoy working alone on this game. Uh, it gives me a lot of freedom, so that um, it gives me a, um, a lot of freedom to express myself. Uh, I've, I've been I've been doing game for a long time. Uh, as a professional, but just as, as a in, in in studios and um, in the game industries, and um, I, I'm only starting to make video game, really indie video game like this one, uh, because I wanted to try 
uh, to express myself by the game. So for now, um, I'm doing a lot, working a lot, uh, and I would like to keep that that way for a while. But probably gonna reach a point as where I'm, I'm, I won't be able to do uh, all the things that I want to do just by myself and uh, the the multiplayer is a good example for example it's way difficult way tougher than I thought it would be and so that's something that's uh, probably gonna need to uh, find some help uh, from outside so but uh, we'll see about that So, what would you do if the uh, Attack on Titan creators take down your game? Well, <laughs> there's nothing I can do for that. It's uh, it's their license, and if they ask me to uh, to remove the game, I would I would remove the game uh, uh, as soon as I receive the um, the injunction to to remove the game. And uh, you, it's it's fine with that. I'm I'm fine with that because um, it's a fine game, and from the beginning, you know that's. Yeah, it's a possibility and anyway for me and again it's a bit selfish but for me uh, the um, the whole the main goal of this project is to learn how to make games so that later I'm gonna be able to make my own game so this right now is just for me a way to uh, to learn how to make game that's the goal of this game it, so if they re if they ask me to remove the game uh, it sucks because I won't be able to uh, to make a full game of that. But personally, for me, um, the, the the main goal is already reached, so I wouldn't be that s sad or anything. Because st thanks to this um, project, um, I already learned so much to make games. So I already reached my goal. So that's um, I can I can be mad. So I got another technical question. Is there a way to change the graphic uh, resolution outside the game because I can't click on this game anymore? Uh, yeah, that's um, if you made a mistake to put the uh, the resolution too high and now the the game doesn't launch. You can't delete the um, the uh, there is a file you can delete for the uh, user settings. I think it's in the uh, your uh, eight. App, your app data folder, local folder, and uh, if you go to the uh, uh, app data, local, your username, and uh, the get them folder, etc. You, you you should find something called the user save, user settings dot save, S A V, and uh, if you delete it and relaunch the game, you're gonna have the default setting in. Uh, I would post the uh, the links. Uh, I don't remember exactly the links uh, for this file, but uh, I would post a link for that. So, one of the most important thing to me in a game is the sound. Are you able to use the sound from an official game or the movie, like the sound of the grapple or the guess or something? No, I won't. I won't do that because the uh, what I'm doing is is al is already a bit tricky. Uh, I'm doing a fun game and I don't own the, the license so even if it's free it's yeah it's a little bit tricky already uh, in terms of uh, uh, copyright and stuff like this so I think the good thing for now for me is that uh, anything in the game uh, I created it I, I mean not the universe and the license obviously but uh, Everything else, all the assets have been done by myself, or um, or by uh, or for the, the the music is done by uh, Jim Tack, uh, but he he's done the music itself. It's not something that's uh, I read from the, um, the the movies or the uh, the anime, and I think it's better this way. To, to have a better chance to for this game to, to survive in a way so all the sound is a sound I made 
I try to make myself. So, for example, the real, uh, the real sound. This one, it's uh, I downloaded um, a sound of uh, fishing pole, and I modified, I modified it. But there is a lot of things, a lot of stuff like this. I, I try to uh, mimic the sound of the uh, the anime without using, w without ripping directly the sound uh, made for uh, by the uh, the owner of, of the license. So what is the end goal? A multiplayer game or a single story game? Uh, multiplayer. As when when I'll be uh, able to uh, finally find a way to uh, to make it works. But uh, yeah. So yeah, the games get really buggy when you got uh, two titans at the same time. Uh, it's need, yeah, for example, this. It's need uh, a little bit more love and a little bit more polish for that, I know that. So when did you start programming? Um, it's not really, I didn't really start programming. I think I started programming um, for the multiplayer actually. But before that, it's just uh, scripting inside Unreal. It's different from programming because I'm using the, the blueprints in the Unreal Engine. If anybody is familiar with the uh, new Unreal Engine, they uh, implemented a system called blueprints, which lets you uh, script uh, game mechanics without even have to uh, code anything in C++ or anything so I just started to learn uh, programming uh, like um, the the previous year because of the uh, multiplayer could you add a titan attack where he or she bends over and swipes you up like mid range away it will swipe and try to grab you. Short range, it will stomp on you. Yeah, there, there's a lot of um, attack for the Titan that I need to implement. For example, uh, there is no uh, uh, bite attack for, for them now, but that's something that I want to implement too. I don't know how it's gonna be implemented and uh, uh, how it's gonna be, um, how you, you're gonna be able to dodge that or. Um, uh, come to that, but that's something. That's a lot of um, attack that need to still needs to be implemented in the game. So, pourra-t-on jouer au pad manette dans le futur? Will will you? Will we be able to play with the uh, the gamepad in the future? Um, I don't think so, honestly, because the uh, it's already the. Uh, how to play the game with the mouse? Uh, not not hard, but um, the game used a lot the uh, the aiming precision, and I don't think that's gonna be something you would be able to do with the uh, gamepad without uh, uh, changing the uh, the gameplay. So uh, it would start to be really uh, really difficult to be playable with the gamepad if I keep the same. Um, the same gameplay here, so uh, I don't think I want to uh, to put to put more stress on me uh, and try to um, support gamepad for now. Est-ce que tu peux remettre les physiques des premières versions? Could you add the uh, the physics from the earlier ver version? Uh, the thing is, the physics is diff. A bit different but not that much what changed a lot and uh, what I probably messed up a lot is the uh, the, the camera uh, I, don't, I don't know if you remember but um, before um, 
the the camera when you you were reeling, uh, the camera were was lagging really far away from the the, the character. So the, your your character was uh, really far away from the camera, and I tried to change that because of the combat because uh, uh, I didn't want it to uh, to have too much uh, back and forth from uh, for the camera and the. Um, when you were in in a combat situation, and uh, so I tried to uh, to keep the camera closer to the, the 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 character, but by doing that, I, I lost a lot in terms of um, uh, speed feeling. So that's something that the the camera needs a lot of work, and uh, I, I'll be back on working on that uh, later on because I'm not happy at all with the what I did did the camera for now. So will I uh, will I add Colossal or Beast Titan? Probably, probably yes, but I don't know when. So I, I didn't even start to think about the uh, the gameplay for 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 those guys. So I don't, I don't even know what it would look like. What game mode do you plan for the game? Um, I'm still not really sure about the game mode. Uh, I still want to try to uh, nail down the, the gameplay before uh, thinking about the game mode. Uh, especially, uh, I want to have a um, early implementation of the um, the multiplayer. Um, see how it feels at at, uh, at several before I'm trying to think about the uh, game mode. But I, I probably add something easy to add would be a hard uh, mode where you got um, infinite uh, wave of titans uh, coming through and every time more titan more titans coming so the difficulty difficulty gets higher and you have to survive the uh, longest. That's probably something that I could add. But for anything else, I, I don't really know. Oui, je peux parler français. Je suis même français, donc euh, donc euh, oui, oui, je peux parler très bien français. So. If the attack on Titan Trader don't take down your game or even approve of your making it, how far would you go with this? A full length game? Um, I don't know. I, I, I don't have any plan. I, I don't want to say big stuff like, yeah, it's gonna be uh, an MMO with uh, thousands of universes and, uh, and millions of options to customize your character because frankly uh, I, I don't I don't really know uh, what's the game gonna be in several in like two years uh, but uh, for now I just want to have a fun game fun little game I want to keep that little and I want to fun little game uh, that is playable in multiplayer that's the main goal for now So 
so yeah at some point they're gonna be uh, different uh, titan with uh, variation uh, titans but um, it's not a priority for me uh, anything that is uh, cosmetic and um, customization is something I would like to do but uh, it's not a priority I would like to um, nail down the, the gameplay first before uh, uh, be before adding more content in it Est-ce qu'il y aurait une traduction en français um, Ça me prend du temps. Le truc, c'est que ça me prend du temps. Euh, tout ça, là, tout ce que je fais, euh, genre le streaming, etc. C'est quelque chose qui prend du temps. Même faire des updates, en vrai. Même écrire, juste écrire ça sur GameJolt. Euh, euh, faire des, euh, des screenshots, euh, monter des vidéos. Euh, tout ça, là, ça prend, ça prend vraiment du temps. Et comme je suis seul à bosser sur ce jeu... C'est du temps que je peux pas passer à, à bosser dessus, donc euh, je sais que ça fait chier les, des gens euh, que je parle anglais, que j'écrive en anglais, etc. Là. Mais euh, mais si je commence à, si je commence à faire plusieurs langues, euh, ça va me prendre encore plus de temps. Je, à, rien que le fait de l'écrire, euh, de mettre en place et, ces trucs-là, là, ça a l'air simple, mais euh, c'est quand même, ça peut, ça peut être prise de tête. Je l'ai appris un peu à la dure. Ça peut être un peu prise de tête quand même. Donc, j'essaierai de faire au mieux que je peux avec le français. Mais euh, ouais, je suis désolé si euh, tout sera pas traduit malheureusement. Pour le, pour le jeu, euh, traduire le jeu, euh, oui, mais pas tout de suite. C'est-à-dire que, comme pour l'instant, je sais pas. Euh, comme pour l'instant, je ne sais même pas exactement euh, tout le texte qu'il va y avoir besoin pour le jeu. Euh, je ne veux pas le traduire maintenant. Si plus tard, après, euh, je vais devoir le, euh, le supprimer, le refaire, etc. Là, c'est pareil. Comme je te dis, là, c'est euh, encore du temps. Ça me prend encore du temps. Hein. Donc, euh, pour l'instant, je, le jeu, il va être seulement en anglais pour un moment. Et une fois que je serai un peu plus euh, calé sur... Euh, Qu'est-ce que ça va être euh, à peu près sur euh, le, le texte qu'il va falloir traduire. Là, je commencerai à traduire en français et peut-être demander de l'aide à d'autres personnes pour le traduire dans d'autres langues. Mais ouais, pour l'instant, pour l'instant, anglais uniquement. So. Uh... Yeah, so that there's a lot of um, I see that there is a lot of French uh, people in, in the chat. That's that's awesome, uh, and a lot are asking me uh, why I'm only speaking in English. Um, the, the 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 thing is that well, English is the most uh, used language on the internet, and uh, so uh, it's easier for me to speak in English and to reach more people. Uh, but I could translate stuff, but it's, ta it's taking time. So um, since I'm the only guy is working on this game, so it's time that I, I can't uh, spend on uh, making the game. And that's not necessarily something that I like to do, uh, spending time making uh, videos on, or using the social media and stuff like that. So yeah, for now I'm uh, focusing just on the, the the English and trying to uh, translate in French when I, when I can but uh, I won't be able to translate every time in French. Donc comme comme je disais ouais c'est euh, je, je je vais pas être capable de tout le temps traduire tout ce que euh, tout ce que je dis en, en français. Euh, je suis désolé pour euh, pour les français qui m'écoutent et qui qui pigent complètement rien à l'anglais. Mais euh, ouais, il faut admettre que l'anglais c'est c'est quand même plus répandu sur internet et que si, euh, si je veux toucher le plus de monde, c'est plus facile de, de parler en anglais. Et j'essaierai de traduire en français autant que je peux, mais ça me prend du temps à faire ça, à traduire euh, le, le texte, les articles, les, les vidéos, etc. Et c'est du temps que je peux pas passer à faire du... à bosser sur le jeu. Sur... So what I 
what I would be working on for the next updates. Uh, for the top priority right now would be the uh, the tutorial, making a proper tutorial so that uh, people get uh, um, a good idea of uh, the the mechanics, a little bit more advanced mechanic like the uh, special attack, the, the dodge cancel and stuff like that. And then, yeah, like I said, I, I think it I really need to uh, to go back to uh, the multiplayer. Uh, if I want to make a multiplayer game that's fun to play. Um, with several people, uh, I need to, uh, I need to have at least um, something that's working in land. Uh, that would be that, that. might be the uh, the first step for me. Would be to to make it work in land. Maybe not in on the internet, but um, land multiplayer. Because I I need to test the gameplay with uh, several pe uh, people. For example, I got. Um, I'm pretty sure that. If you play this game right now as it is, but you are five on the game on the the map, it's gonna be a, a lot easier to kill a titan because you're just gonna have one guy distracting a titan while the other one have all the time he wants to uh, to 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 reach the map. So th that's the kind of uh, gameplay features mechanics I need to uh, to work on with a proper multiplayer stuff working. So what do you do outside of making this game? I'm making game. So uh, yeah, I'm a game developer uh, during the day and uh, in a in a company here in Montreal. And uh, I'm also a game developer at night on uh, Attack on Titan. So. Yeah, I think it's uh, it's about one hour of stream. That's a lot more than uh, what I was expecting. So uh, I'm probably uh, gonna end this soon. I'm just gonna finish the uh, the Titan that's remaining on the map, and uh, maybe you're gonna be it's, it's gonna be the time to say goodbye. You see, when you uh, start to master the dodge cancel, it starts to become really easy to kill titans. Um, it can reward you with big, big score. So you you won't even have to use the uh, spinning attack anymore. You still could. the last one I don't know if you uh, notice that but um, when you can't see the Titan you, you still can see a little point uh, on your screen so you ever know where is the last Titan in which direction he is so you, you I added that so that um, it's not too boring to find the Titan I don't like that finding Titan I prefer killing them.
Holy shit. Okay. Here you go. S rank. Yay. So yeah, I think I'm gonna end the, the stream now. Uh, thank you for uh, thank you everybody for being there and uh, playing the game. Um, I hope that uh, I hope you're liking it so far, even if it's uh, far from being completed and um, far from being, I think, really fun. There's a lot of things that's missing before it can become more. Like, it, we could say that it's really fun right now. It's just uh, probably uh, some potential, but uh, yeah. So uh, thanks again, and uh, stay tuned for uh, more updates in the future. All right, bye.